Creating a new document in Photoshop CC. Once you've opened Photoshop CC, in the top menu, click File and New. In the pop-up, you will have the option to enter a new name for the document. Go ahead and call it anything you want. The Preset menu allows you to select one of the default sizes set up by Adobe. If you have already set up a few custom sizes and want to use one of those, feel free to do so. Assuming you would want to make a custom sized document, select Custom in the Preset field. You will be presented with a Width, Height, Resolution, Color Mode, and Background Content fields and options. In Width and Height, you can select whether you want the document in pixels, usually only for digital use, inches, centimeters, millimeters, used for print production. Enter a width and height, depending on what you're trying to achieve. In the resolution field, enter the resolution you'd like to work in. Enter 72 or 96 pixels per inch for digital work, and anything between 300 or 600 pixels per inch if you're creating this document for a print job. Color mode allows you to select whether you want the document in grayscale, RGB, or CMYK. Grayscale is fine for print and digital work. RGB is good for digital work, and CMYK is used for print jobs. I usually do not select CMYK to start off with for print jobs, only because it limits the functionality and filters in Photoshop. So what I would do in this case is keep it in RGB, and only later, just before sending the job to print, convert it to CMYK, which I'll show you how to do later. In background contents, you can select between a white, transparent, or current background color. To find the current background color, have a look at the Photoshop toolbar on the left. At the bottom, you will see two colors. The front one is the foreground color, and the color behind the foreground color is the background color. This color will be used for your document's background color, should you select background color in the options. Seeing that white and transparent is self-explanatory, let's go ahead and select background color. To the right, you will see an estimated file size for this blank document. It's okay to leave the options in the advanced section as is. Color profile should be the sRGB option and the pixel aspect ratio should be square. Go ahead and click OK.